Hi, I'm Mark Laurie from Suntax. As accountants, we think it's important that we let everyone know before this Saturday's election what changes are proposed for tax. And I probably want to focus on four main ones that Labor are proposing. Uh, the first one is around uh, negative gearing and the banning of negative gearing for any assets essentially purchased after the 1st of January 2020. Good thing is there's uh, any existing assets that will be uh, grandfathered, so no change there. Next one I want to talk about is the capital gains tax on those assets. Uh, Labor are proposing to increase that capital gains tax by up to 50% and sometimes even more. So um, yeah, just be careful on that one. Again, grandfathered for any assets purchased before the 1st of January 2020. The next one is uh, one that's going to impact a lot of our uh, retirees. Um, even kids that have got some shares and self-managed super funds, in, in a, they're not going to be able to receive franking credit refunds, the back it, uh, backers tax refunds at the end of the year. Um, for our small um, self-funded retirees, this will cost them about $5,000 a year, so pretty big impact for them. The last one uh, I want to talk about for any small business that runs through a trust, um, get ready for a 30% extra tax on their distributions um, proposed under the Labor government. So a few big changes there um, and we just thought it was our duty to let everyone know what is proposed out there that could impact them moving forward. So happy voting. Um, if you'd like to li learn any more about uh, or in detail about that, uh, click the link below um, and you'll see some more, info more detailed information.